guys, but just for this year, but the seniors, I mean, what, what can you say about, about Kevin and Armani and this point, your first team here? You know what? Uh, I love the guys because, again, I, I go back to <clears throat> when we first got here and the first couple meetings we had with them, and you could tell they were, uh, I guess maybe the word would be apprehensive uh, about the fact having, in some of, them, some of their cases, three coaches in three, three years, and but you know what, once we got settled in and we talked to them about where we wanted to go and how we saw things and, and we talked about trust and I'll look back on this group and I've said it all year, it's been a fun group to coach and uh, uh, just in the fact that uh, they wanted to, they wanted to, again, they wanted to be good and they and I do think that uh, they, they bought into what we were trying to do to build the, the foundation moving forward and uh, I think we'll always look back on this class as helping us do that believe in excuses um, I'm a pretty strong player and for me not to even be playing tomorrow just you know if I can play trust me I'll be playing you know but I'm not gonna tell you I'm fighting my parents but you know they don't want me to play which is another reason why I'm like you know, I'm not pushing it like that but um, you know I like to listen to them I like to listen to my body to the trainers um, but, if it was up to me, I, I promise you, I'd probably be playing. I wouldn't be playing healthy if it was up to me. So how did they finally find out when you tried to keep it calm? I, I couldn't. I couldn't. I couldn't walk. The, the night I got back from um, Kentucky, um, number one, I came to take my sock off um, after the game against Kentucky, and then the night I got back, you know, it was just, I couldn't. I could barely walk, and I woke up the next morning and I couldn't put my foot on the floor, like I, I couldn't. And I, that's when I knew something was wrong because I didn't twist it. I didn't step wrong, I didn't know that. So like I said, my ankle was hurting before the game started so bad to the point I didn't even think I could finish the game, to be honest with you. Career? Uh, not well, much, but I'm pretty sure it'll hit me here soon. I mean, does it seem like it's been four years? Or how many minutes it is? Not at all. I mean, it's been a tough time. It's been some fun times. It's been a lot that I can remember from being here four years, but I've enjoyed the ride. Unfortunately, it has to come to an end. I mean, how do you, when you look back on it, how do you, I mean, the, I don't know about the bitter is the right word, but you played for three coaches in, in, in four years. I mean, you wish it would have been different or you just accentuate the positive? Uh, I look at it in a positive way. I think everything I've been through, it kind of helped me as far as like learning how to get through adversity and stuff like that. You know, I, I can sit here and say, you know, it sucks to play for three coaches, but at the same time, I can also say that I took positive things for all three of those coaches that I've had. So I've enjoyed the experience and learning something different from each of them. One of those guys. How long ago does it seem that that Sweet 16 run was? Uh, not too long. I mean, it was my sophomore year, if I'm not mistaken. But I mean, that was a fun run. You know, we had a lot of ten talented guys that year. You know, I got to play with some pro guys that's now gone on in, in, in NBA. But you know, I've been on a lot of different teams and, and had fun playing with a lot of different guys. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I remember the first time coming here, my first game here. It's it's crazy. So what, what were your expectations when you got here at Tennessee? Um, I don't know. I wanted to just enjoy the college experience. I had no clue what I was getting into. Uh, play against. I knew I was going to play against some of the best players in the country uh, at the time and to play against you know, former or NBA players and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I really just was trying to have, you know, enjoy talk, myself and have fun. We talked to Armani about playing a lot of different positions. You've been asked to play different roles as well, haven't you? Yeah, it's been uh, – it's been fun playing those roles. You know, you learn a lot. You know, you learn different stuff. Uh, I try to use that to just help my game as much as I can. What do you remember from when you think about Conzo in that era of your life here? What, what memories do you take from that? The 30 minutes of just straight up closeouts. Um, <laughs> there's this drill. What's the drill called? Uh, I forgot the drill was called, but just a lot of defense. But Besides that, uh, you know, he, he told us a lot, you know, he, he talks a lot about character and being a man and just fighting for adversity, um, you know, because just what he went through, you know, beating cancer, but, you know, uh, a lot of stuff like that, I remember. This for me, you know, I mean, I got hurt, so I feel like, you know, he don't know who I am and he's not going to believe in me, I can't believe in me, you know, I have, I've been having that a lot with coaches, so I think everything happened for a reason, though.